building on our understanding that LTE advanced radio incorporates some very interesting and innovative improvements which increase the data rate that meets the um, IMT, ITUR recommendations for the data rates that go up to 100 megabits or even 1 gigabits per second over radio in mobile environment. Carrier aggregation is the most important and the strongest feature that tries to implement the high data rate through cherry picking the desired frequency components which are offering the least interference at a particular moment. So we'll start with the background definition of carrier aggregation. We'll look at the concepts and we'll have an example. So carrier aggregation actually is meant to provide higher data rates by using, reusing, adopting and adapting the frequencies which provide the least interference and maximum data rates. Carrier aggregation is based on the concept of spectrum allocation. That is, we can choose the frequencies in a given range of frequencies in a spectrum, either in a frequency division duplex manner, that is, we can pair or we can bundle the bands together, or we can take a certain band and we can take multiple time slots within that band that is time division duplex. Our scope essentially here is frequency division duplex. So the carrier aggregation actually means group or aggregate multiple carrier components and take raw bit streams from each frequency band. Consequently, at the data link layer and subsequently at the network layer, we are going to have the resultant accumulated bandwidth which is coming from individual frequency bands at the physical layer. Correspondingly, we can get bandwidths up to 20 megahertz. That is the maximum specification defined by the um, uh, EUTRAN in LTEA starting from 1.4 megahertz down up right up to 20 megahertz. LTEA also prescribes that no more than five bands can be allocated. It means with five bands, theoretically speaking, occupying a total of 20 megahertz um, bandwidth, we can actually have up to 100 megahertz bandwidth available. Now, depending upon the uh, encoding scheme, the uh, correspond corresponding um, uh, scheme such as uh, any smart keying like GMSK, uh, QPSK, QOM, uh, Emery techniques, we can think about achieving a very, very high data rate. Now this is a consolidated carrier aggregation diagram. It's uh, not actually the minimum side. It only shows the maximum frequencies that can be incorporated, um, each having up to 20 megahertz carrier bandwidth. Uh, resultantly, 100 megahertz can be allocated to a certain connection. Let's look at an, an example. This example is meant to highlight that uh, we can choose from available uh, spectrums depending upon our requirements at will. It means there is no um, compulsion to choose from within a band or uh, having only adjacent uh, frequency components. Uh, as an example, let's say that uh, in 800 megahertz spectrum, uh, we take uh, two components, uh, each having bandwidth of 20 megahertz. In the 900 megahertz spectrum, uh, that is uh, the initial GSM 900 megahertz band, uh, we have um, 10 megahertz uh, spectrum, that is um, 5 megahertz each. And then in the 
uh, 2.1 gigahertz spectrum, we take another 10 megahertz, that is two uh, um, 10 megahertz um, bands, for two me five megahertz bands. Then we have the resultant of up to 60 megahertz. It means what we have done here is we have taken uh, four um, basically components, two from the 800 megahertz band, one from 900 megahertz, and another one from 10 megahertz. So using these four components, uh, we have achieved up to 60 megahertz. We could go up to 100 megahertz, uh, but uh, this is just an example that shows that we are not limited to uh, choosing a certain number in a certain band as such. So this leads to certain spectrum allocation guidelines. That is, we can choose uh, within one band uh, the carriers or the carrier components which are adjacent to each other. We could choose non-adjacent components within the same band or we could choose non-adjacent components in non-adjacent bands at will. That is the third option. So you see how much flexibility uh, LTEA EU TRAN provides to us.